And joining us now is Mark Jan Lubkivsky, an advisor to the Ukrainian defense minister. Uh, thanks for being with us. Uh, first, President Zelensky has just made uh, the allegation that Russia has used phosphorus in Ukraine. Uh, what can you tell us about possible chemical attacks being carried out by Russia? Uh, thank you so much for your, for your interest and for covering uh, this very sensitive issue the Russian aggression against Ukraine. Yeah, so uh, President Zelensky uh, was absolutely right. Uh, nobody can be safe right now. So we can expect everything from, from aggressor, using chemical weapons, also including a nuclear. So you remember that probably a couple of weeks ago, uh, Zaporizhia nuclear uh, station was under attack of Russian Russian army. So nobody, nobody can be safe, and today, is a crucial moment for the whole European and world community to be united and to stay strong against Russian aggression. Do you have specific intelligence about chemical attacks? Yeah, I cannot disclose information in that regard, but yeah, we possess information that the enemy can use different types of weapons and munitions. If you can, tell us how things stand right now, starting with the capital. There are indications that Russia is now in a defensive posture. What can you tell us? So, uh, yeah, so you know that President Zelensky is in Kyiv. Uh, government is working, parliament also. So uh, all, all of us, we are staying here. We will protect our capital. And there is no chance uh, for the enemy to enter Kyiv to, or to, to, to take it into, into blockade. So uh, our army is uh, dealing very successful. Uh, our soldiers are very brave and very experienced. So there are, there are some su successes on the ground, but we are still not protected from the air. What about elsewhere in Ukraine? Are there signs that your forces are gaining ground in other areas? Yeah, uh, we, are, we are still defending our, our positions on the, on the northern side, as, as I described. Also, we are quite good on the, on the south. Uh, you know, the only problem that the Russian army is more numerous. A lot of soldiers are coming, a lot of weapons entering Ukraine, but the number of soldiers of, of the aggressor uh, who were killed in Ukraine, who dead here, is 16,000 uh, people. Mr. Lukivsky, I have our international affairs editor, Armin Georgian, here with me, and he'd like to jump in and ask you something. Please. Yeah. Uh, yes. Hello. Uh, just a question about uh, your your president just addressed the, the NATO summit, and he talked about three uh, specific weapon systems that your country is asking for, the uh, MLR, MLRS rocket uh, launcher system, also anti-aircraft systems. I'm assuming that refers to the S-300, and also, also anti-naval systems. Uh, I'm just wondering, are you making any headway in negotiations? to procure those three uh, those three systems and um, how would it work in practice would you actually buy those things or take a loan I mean how, how is this all going to to work in practice the most important thing that we need to protect our land so this is the crucial message President Zelensky is sending every day every day to uh, European and world community addressing to different parliaments and governments of different states so I, I would not go into details. It's, it's not so important. Important to provide Ukraine with the military technical assistance, and the rest we will do by ourselves. Due to Winston Churchill, give us the tools, and we will finish the job. Mr. Lukivsky, uh, uh, do you foresee a scenario in which Russia takes control of some regions of Ukraine, and Ukraine uh, maintains control of the capital in other areas? So, uh, uh, so far, we are quite successful in, in, in all areas. Uh, we, we should remember that today is the 20, 28th day of our resistance. The initial plan of Putin was to take Kyiv in three, four days, and that never happened. So, uh, I, I, I wouldn't go, as, as a diplomat, uh, I wouldn't, wouldn't go into, into any scenarios. Uh, but we are, we are uh, you know, Ukrainians are very... Uh, motivated people to to fight for every square meter of, of their territory. Um, 
And Mr. Lubkiewski, just a, one question I have about, I, I don't know if you're uh, willing to share any, uh, I any information about uh, what you know about Belarusian troop movements. Yeah. Uh, what's the contingency plan for that? Yeah, we are ready to meet, I'm saying meet, in terms to, to fight Belarusians if they will enter Ukraine. So, uh, and uh, we, we have sent uh, very strong signals to European uh, community, again, to, to Belarusians, if they will start to support Russia in terms of sending here our troops, they will finish like Russians. But yeah, you're absolutely right. Due to our intelligence, we are monitoring uh, all movements of Belarusian troops on the border. So far, they are still uh, on the Belarusian side and not entering Ukraine, but we are, we are ready for that scenario if they will try to enter our land. Um, Mr. Lukiewski, I wanted to ask you, um, despite help from the West, uh, you're outgunned by the Russians. So how do you explain the success uh, of your strategy here? Uh, I think that the, uh, the reason or the, the, the background is uh, high motivation of our army. And don't forget that we are fighting with the Russians uh, it's it's eighth year of our our uh, you know uh, fight against aggressor. So we have very good, very well trained people and very well motivated. It's it's something which is in the heart. Uh, if if it's your land, you are fighting for it. I just have one final question for you. We, we were talking about the possibility or the reality of chemical attacks in Ukraine. Uh, President Zelensky talked about phosphorus. Do you know of any other types of, of chemical attacks that have happened? Uh, yeah, we, yeah we, are, we are absolutely ready, and uh, our population is uh, prepared for that. We, made, uh, we are making everyday announcement, and other people will be ready and well instructed if Russians will, will go with the chemical weapons. But yeah, we also address to our partners to provide us with the sources to protect our people. Okay, we want to thank you so much, Mark Jan Lubkivsky, an advisor to the Ukrainian defense minister. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you so much.